When someone buys jeans, the rear pocket design usually identifies the brand. But is the purchase being made because of the readily identifiable source or because the rear design is aesthetically pleasing? The 2006 case of Enri Slokovic explores the relevance of this question in the context of trademark protection. Joanne Slokovic filed an application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office to register a mark for a configuration on apparel consisting of a flash dare label in a V-shaped background and a cutout portion on both sides of the label. The cutout portion consisted of a hole in the garment and a flap affixed to the garment with a closure mechanism. The configuration was located on the rear of various flash deer garments. Slokovic had already obtained protection for various components for this configuration, including registration of the flash deer name and a design patent on the cutout feature. When Slokovic sought trade dress protection for the overall configuration, the examiner first denied her application on the grounds that the clothing configuration was product design and thus couldn't be inherently distinctive. In doing so, the examiner provided her with an opportunity to present evidence of acquired distinctiveness or to disclaim the configuration's design elements. She did neither and claimed the trade dress was inherently distinctive. The examiner rejected the registration request, noting that the configuration was considered product design and thus couldn't be inherently distinctive for trademark protection purposes. Slokovic appealed to the Trademark Trial and Appeal Board contending that the overall configuration wasn't product design and that the mark's inseparable combination of words and design rendered the mark inherently distinctive. The board disagreed and found the mark's elements weren't so merged that they couldn't be divided into separate elements. Therefore, it offered Slokovic the opportunity to disclaim the configuration's flap and hole feature. Slokovic declined, and the board found this feature was a product design that wasn't eligible for trademark protection without a demonstration of acquired distinctiveness. Slokovic appealed to the Federal Circuit, claiming the configuration wasn't product design because it didn't implicate the whole product.